Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, we were gonna walk out of the building and then start because the loading screens take 25 minutes, but I was moving the camera around and we landed on this. So uh, what a start. Horror That's games, right everybody. Um, we didn't figure out what we wanted to do for this session, right? I don't recall. Okay, so a uh, little storyline recap. Uh, just so we all have a fresh in our minds. We just got out of another Zack segment. Um, and I remember that Simon went to the bathroom and Aaliyah has really been grilling Zack hard on exactly what happened now. And it seemed like he was starting to open up. Mm -hmm. So I want to know what's about to happen next. We know that uh, Galena, was that the name of the mother? Galena. Galena killed herself in the cell, or at least... It looks like it was a suicide. I guess we don't know because, you know, there's there's magic shit. For all we know, she was psychically commanded to kill herself. We don't know. Yeah. And we're looking for the person who we suspect to be called Professor R. But I think that was like a hunch from Patricia or something. So I don't know. I, I would imagine it's probably accurate because it's a video game, but we don't know. I don't know what the next main story thing is. Do you think we're just going to get a cutscene when we walk out? Any second? Any second. Oh, here we go. Ah. How's your mama? So... You're that hotshot FBI agent I keep hearing about. And who might you be? I came to claim the body of my daughter. Okay. My daughter, <laughs> who was murdered in a holding cell after you detained her yesterday. Zack, I wasn't expecting to run into the final boss this week. <laughs> you must be the head of the Clarkson family, P.J. Clarkson. And you've come to claim the body of Galena Clarkson, whose dismembered corpse was found early this morning. Is that correct? Where did you learn that Galena had been murdered? Zack and I just learned of the news ourselves. He is a tall this bastard. This is Lou Carl. I know, right? And I... I am P.J. Clarkson. There ain't a single thing I don't know about this town. I see. So then you must also know about the Severed Roots ritual. I have a question for you, Philip. We suspect that Galena was murdered by someone from the Clarkson family. Have you given that possibility any consideration? Wow, that's forthcoming. Listen up, you FBI piece of shit. You better watch your manners around my paw. Yeah, well, Show you better watch your mullet around me. <laughs> but, sir. My bad, sir. I'll have you know I once had three children. But I must not have raised them very well. Because my son and my eldest daughter both ran away and never came back to hmm. me. The only one who stayed by my side was my second daughter, Galena. Then she done married Daniel here into the family and presented me with both an heir and a granddaughter. Seemed for a while as if things were finally starting to calm down. But then... Someone corrupted both Galena and Lise. And I lost everything. Well, aside from my shit heel son in law, that is. You understand me, FBI? Galena's death is nothing but a loss for the Clarkson family. Doesn't mean the Clarksons are automatically innocent, though. Humans don't always act out of self-interest, do they? Fair. That mouth. 
You're starting to sound more and more like your mother. He still knows something we don't We're about leaving, that. Daniel. What? But my treasure. You don't suppose her mother is actually the eldest now, daughter whether of Whether you end up being an angel or a demon. Maybe. I reckon you're the man I've been waiting for all this time. Once you finish that, DJ, I can be your angel or your we're devil. Clear to take a <laughs> I want you to give me a call. They're phenomenal, Patty. So perfectly rural. Ominous statements, foul mouthed insults. This town possesses a complicated system of communication that you just can't find in the city. Work centric emails are so cold and lifeless. This is what true human connections feel like. Connections as visceral as blood itself. <sighs> so, Agent York, what's next on your agenda? The last boss may have gotten the jump on us, Patty, but I didn't let him shake my resolve. I intend to obey the skeletal gentleman's oracles, and that's that. First, we should head to either the home of the person who discovered Lisa's body or to the town's medical facility. Okay, multiple directions. Well, Zach, what do you think? I'm I'm guessing we just get to do that in any order we want. All right. Okay. Uh, one moment. Just got to fix an audio issue. Okay, we fixed it. Just had to uh, restart the recording software because weird technical audio things. Ooh, let's. Uh, I I think our inventory is kind of full, but I just wanted okay, to see. Hold on. Like maybe every time we get to a new chapter, there's new items. Hmm. Uh, yeah, our inventory's full. God, how can the frame rate on... Oh, yeah, there is new stuff. There's a little new icon above some of these. How can the frame rate on, like, a shop menu be this poor? Uh, yeah, the only new things seem to be, like, kind of yeah, junk food. Thing, you just come on by, Mr. York. Okay, uh, let's check our gurnal. I just want to know where we're supposed to go. Real quick note, whenever um, the episode where we talked about sundries went up, oh, uh, yeah. and I claimed that they're sun-dried items, no, they're just items ah. that you buy at a, at a convenience store. I was unaware. I think that's a thing that I've thought whenever I heard sundries, uh, or even read the word sundries, for years, even though I kind of knew that it was more more like regular old items, um, but it, it kind of makes sense, right? It's yeah. spelled the exact same way as sun dries. Yeah, because when you said that, I just took it as fact because it sounded correct. And also, the only time I can remember ever seeing that word was in World of Warcraft, and I think it was a prefix to a fish. So I assumed uh, that those are probably pronounced the same way. However, I was incorrect. Uh, do we want to go to the church first for the infirmary? Or do we want to go f visit, visit Chuck, who apparently discovered the body? Do we know Chuck? Um, I don't believe so. That doesn't sound like a familiar name. Oh, it says it's at the Crawfish Farmer Shack. Yeah, we haven't been there. Let's... No, yeah, that's right. Okay, I really want to go there because I don't know... Uh, uh, I need the map. Um, what button was it? There we go. I fast travel to here, and then maybe this will be moved and I can go through now? Unless um, you can ramp it still. Maybe. I'm willing to attempt. God, it is so F-Zero. It's, it's just unbelievable. Like, it's got to be intentional, right? We got to play that sometime. We do. We need to do more GameCube games. Honestly, like, I wouldn't even be opposed to, like, for a while we just play a round of Mario Party once a week or something, you know? Hell yeah. Break it into three videos, throw it up on the channel. I just never get sick of Mario Party. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, here we are sick of Pokemon Stadium. 
Uh, people liked the episodes of Pokemon Stadium where we randomly started playing Mario Party because the game basically broke on us and we had nothing else to record. Mm. Uh, all right. Is this thing moved now? We also need to still keep an eye out for those fleur de don't we? You know what? Let's take a moment at the beginning of this session. We, we already know we're doing three episodes this session, probably. Well, let's just do a real quick refresher run on. Hold on. Okay, controller's on the table. Controller's on We've the table. Was before. I just sliding on the floor? Uh, and yeah. Um, I think I was. It like you were briefly. That was weird. Um, but yeah, we've. I know we've checked this little nook, and it was looking almost right, but not totally. Mm-hmm. Do you think the colors and lighting might be a little off in that picture? Like it's overexposed and maybe yeah, something like that. These, a lot of these pictures are overexposed. Yeah. I just, God, it really feels like it's around here, you know? Mm. I know we checked down there too and we didn't see anything though, so. But you gotta on. keep in mind of the water damaged buildings, kind of like the ones off to York's left right now. But mm -hmm. um, we also need to see some of these, uh, like one of these containers. Yeah. Okay, so it was down this way a little, right? Yeah, it's yeah. just coming up there. There's a ramp that you can uh, that you can take over the railroad tracks too. Ooh, we actually have like a quest marker here. I want to take one more shot at this ramp. <laughs> just I don't think it's gonna do anything, but it's gonna be fun. I, I just it really feels like I should be able to jump it, right? Yeah, ramp it. All right, let's do it. Build up speed. <laughs> Oh, this is actually going decently. Yeah. No, Aww. no, not even close. Not even Damn, close. York. Hold on. Uh, wh whoa, careful. <laughs> All it's right. not okay to jump over that. Whoa. <laughs> okay, Zach. It's time to put our skills to the test. You I did. did it. You failed. <laughs> it didn't go well. York, this doesn't end well. <gasps> We've ruined the skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was even worse than I did, York. Come on, get it together. <laughs> <sighs> well, Zach, it seems as if we've reached an impasse. There's no way I could walk around that. I'm afraid we won't be able to proceed any further like this. Car Tiger to DC Eagle. Is everything all right? Hello, Melvin. Sadly, my darling just gave out on me. Your darling? You mean? Yes, that's right. My beloved skateboard. I know the chances are slim, but do you happen to know of any establishments in town uh, that can repair skateboards? You remember there was that one house with an open garage? Yeah, right it by, was, um, um, what's her name's house? Miss Carpenter, Carpenter. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Miss Carpenter. Uh, there was a place nearby that looked like it mattered, but we couldn't really interact with it yet. It must be that place. Also, how far do you think the camera will go? Give it a minute. Uh, I just, I just, I wonder how far I can get into the conversation before it stops, you know? I just, Please, I hope this doesn't defend you. Neither if it's Zach anything like the camera in York's apartment, like or sorry, Zach's apartment, shop in it. um, it'll be at a certain point it'll just stop because we didn't go equally as fast as the dialogue. Yeah, or that time when we held on the dialogue when there was a boat going down the river and eventually it kind of like started to phase out. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you have at least one eccentric who likes to tinker with them in their spare time. I know just the person. Double bass player by night, trick master by day. God blessed her with two talents, and her name is Emma. John Cena. <laughs> I was thinking that too. Also, um, in the transition back to Le Carre after the last Zach segment, didn't we see a weird eclectic band playing a little bit in a bar somewhere? Yeah. Do you think that one, the bass player in that was Emma Sanders, and two, that bar was probably the night bar that we haven't been to yet? Yes and yes. 
We gotta remember to go in there next time it's nighttime. Emma. That's right. She's passed the sand as adopted daughter. And was also Lee Clarkson's best friend. Ooh. Ah, so the next victim. Emma really knows her stuff. She's got tools and a mountain of parts. I'm sure she'll be able to help. A mountain of lady parts if you, you catch my drift, one. Agent York. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, Melvin, get it together. Zach, I never thought we'd find our very own skateboard mentor out here in the sticks. Let's head straight to Emma. What is it, Zach? Why didn't I just ask the sheriff to tow away the old cars? But isn't it obvious? I want to overcome this obstacle using my own strength. In fact, I want to soar over it. Breaks his legs on the other side, has to get pulled off the case. <laughs> and that's why the report was never finished. Broke his legs. Uh, so how far away is this? Um... Down a little... I don't know where the objectives are, now that I think about it. I don't see <laughs> anything on the map that looks like an objective marker. Um... In the skateboard workshop, it just popped up. I, oh. Like, I just saw it. Uh... Up right... To your right. Oh, right here? Yep. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Uh, so... The Alexis Diner thingy is the closest. I'm... Oh, right, I can't use my skateboard right now, damn it. So you're gonna have to fast travel, I guess. But I do have a button that just beeps at us now. Onk. And it lowers the frame rate somehow too when I mash it. Impressive. How? I don't know how that happens. Okay, I just need to, closest fast travel was over here. Also, this, this shouldn't sound like grass. No, you just had some grass still on your, uh, on your, the soles of your shoes. Ah, and I, I wiped it off by this point. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, God. Oh, I missed the skateboard so much already. <laughs> just gotta, gotta keep on going. It's almost like I should have a car as an FBI agent. Like, I know we crashed it, but... break my stride. Are you telling me that, like, the police, they don't have anything better than a skateboard for me to use? Like, it's just, I call you in and my skateboard's Patricia. broken, and they don't. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, for a split second in the bottom left, it looked like she was skiing. It I don't know what was happening there, but she was very definitely just sliding along. She just doesn't want to be in a place that's perpetually summer. I just want to, like, keep an eye on her and see if she does it again. She kind of slides around a little sometimes when she's speeding up or slowing down. Oh. I think that's Avery. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, that's Avery. Right, I think we talked to him there before and he didn't have anything, but... Uh, just in case. Avery! God, you're tall. Smarty pants. What you want. Talk. Take out the trash. Took out the forklift once. Smarty pants. Oh. Said Mr. Daniel threw a fit. Is uh, Daniel the one that oversees the um, food storage? Hmm. I don't recall. I don't know if they ever told us. F-Zero! When did he get his arm ripped off? Because if I kind of got the, uh, I kind of had the assumption it was the same day. And so, because, you know, we had just seen him the day before, then we arrest Galena, and by the morning, Galena's dead, he shows up, and his arm is missing. How fast did he get medical attention? Yes. Good answer. Okay. I want to hang a right at this block. Oh man, we're in for a bit of a run. Uh, so let's, you know, well we go since we had to be on foot anyway. Maybe we'll keep this one open? It's just, I still do not know where that is. It really looked like it's the Clarkson residence, right? But we couldn't find the spot. 
Mm -hmm. And it also kind of looks like a few parks that we've seen, but again, couldn't find the spot. So I don't know. Wonder if I should be using my focus more often. Just to kind of pick up items. How badly do you think we need those items? Uh, it depends on how much you want to be crafting, because you're going to have to go to, like, Az Freda or the hotel room to craft some things. Yeah. I mean, we're probably going to have to go to the hotel room every once in a while anyway. What is that? Vending machines? Vending machines. We don't have an album that looks like that place, does it? Or do we? The farm supply? I don't think so. We have a barn. That might be the barn we went to for the deadly premonition. And that's the and front of town. Yeah. And then we have the crate and the maybe a park, maybe a big yard. Not really sure. Got only four left to go. And I really want to get them done because, you know, if we the sooner we get that album done, the sooner we probably get another album and the sooner we can start working on that one. Okay, uh, so the repair shop should be pretty much right around this corner. I hope that there's a fast travel we can grab over here just for in the future. Oh, there we go. There's a fast travel right at that corner that we just don't have active yet. I will grab that before we go to the door. Just in case. I forgot that her house and her dog and everything are made to look like bowling paraphernalia. Mm-hmm. That's fucking wonderful. Hold on. What is this all over her door? Or her uh, garage? Lost lamb? Join us. Oh my god. It's the uh. it's the pastor has been posting like <laughs> guilt trip join our church shit all over her door. Oh, what an asshole. That's my other anyway. Let's you look at a uh, fast travel point to your left. Let's steal her mail. Yeah. I love that we can instantly assess the quality of string on site. Yeah. There we go. Emma Skateboard Workshop. Uh. Okay, cut scene. Hey, Agent York. I feel like someone's in there. What tipped you off? The fact that there's a person in there? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and see. Just in the middle of the floor? Huh? Baptized. What do you want? I'm kind of busy here. Is she supposed to okay. not be moving during that splash moving? screen? I don't yeah. know. Who are you? Francis York Morgan. I'm an FBI special agent. Please call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? So. What does the FBI want with little old me? I already Man told the police filter. everything I know about Lee's. Emma, I haven't come here to talk to you about Lee's. Although I suppose it's sort of connected in a way. My darling is broken, and I need you to fix her. <laughs> you call your board your darling? I never heard that one before. I call mine my main squeeze. <laughs> I've had it for three see. days. I'm already very I'm attached. To the damage. I think we've only been in town three days at this point, by the way. Mm hmm. And yet he's already a semi pro bowler. I replaced all your trucks, wheels, and gave you some brand new deck tape. I still I can't get over man guard, filter. So <laughs> what the hell? It's like something out of TF2. Should be able to I know, right? Tricks here and there without any risk of damage. Well, what do you think? It's beautiful, Emma. Makeover, makeover, <laughs> makeover, makeover. Were all about to fall out. Oh, and the axles were also warped. It was pretty much in critical condition. Now, what I want to know is how did it get that way? Well, my car was stolen on my way here from Houston. 
So, I switched over to my darling and rode her here instead. <laughs> you know, you're crazier than you look. <laughs> and you look pretty crazy. <laughs> Would you mind answering another crazy question for me? I want to use this board to soar, literally. Would you mind teaching me a trick that would allow me to do so? Oh, you mean you want to do a wally? Ooh, well, I'd be happy to teach you how, but it's too cramped in here. Hmm. Oh, I know where we should go. Skate park, skate park. The, the abandoned factory? Too? You sure? Seems no. Like you're interested. <laughs> Whatever. I know you're just going to come along anyway. So you should at least learn the basics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm assuming it's going to be the factory because when we were there to get the uh, fleur de lis, it kind of felt like a skate parky thing. You know, there was a, mm -hmm. lot, a lot of little ramps and stuff like that. Yeah, yep. there we go. Okay, Agent York, now we should have enough room to practice. I'll show you how it's done first, then you just practice till you learn how to do it, okay? Don't break your legs. So she's gonna teach you how to jump on your skateboard. I guess, wait, am I gonna be playing as, okay, no, okay. She's demoing it. You need more speed than that. I don't think her board has wheels. I don't think it does. I, oh, there we go. Maybe it kind of felt like it was gliding. Yeah, it looked like it was gliding. Uh, press L at the right timing and soar. So it's like jumping just on your board. I would expect that B or A would have made you jump, but oh well. I know, right? A is to like uh, speed up and then B is to break. Um, y is to get off the board. So I guess they had to put on something weird. Uh, graffiti marks. Simply collect all the flags before time runs out to win. So now you have skateboard courses. Oh, as like another like mini, a new game. mini game. Okay, let me go save real quick, just in case I go flying through the floor. Mm -hmm. Just because I do not trust this game. We still, still have not had a crash yet, and I am blown the fuck away that we have not yet crashed once. Because, like, look, it's it's this game. <laughs> it's, it just blows my mind. Okay, we've already... Yeah, because the balloon is floating. That that does mean... Yeah, okay. Just making sure it means we, we actually marked it off. On the next episode, everybody, we do our first skateboard trick. Until next time, have a nice day. Oh, uh, I wish I could recite Tony Hawk's uh, Superman. Tony, what, what's Tony so Hawk's? Like, uh, it, like, there's a song called Superman by Goldfinger in one of the Tony Hawk games, and it's like one of the most iconic songs from the series. Uh, all I remember for the soundtrack of the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games uh, was I played a lot of the fourth one, and I didn't like almost the entirety of the soundtrack, and so the only song I had still on was The Ace of Spades! The, the Ace, Ace of, of Spades! spades!